Hey you guys, um, this video is a little dark, but I think that's good for you and for me because I'm looking very rough and y'all probably don't want to see that. <laughs> but um, I've been uh, filming videos, I just haven't been uploading them yet, so I'm hoping to do that today. Uh, if you can tell, you know, I'm sick. Uh, I'm, I won't really say that it got worse or better, but just... Um, excuse me, definitely been sleeping a lot, so yeah, I'll like get up, eat something, or drink something, try to watch a few videos, and then pass out again, um, but I thought I, I would share with you all my, um, like some tea, today I had some tea, and, um, I have, let's see, a little teapot, that's actually my boy boyfriend picked this out in Chinatown here in Chicago and um so what is this hold on um I keep having these app pop-ups on my phone I don't know what I did the other day um so the way this teapot works is um I have like this little basket I know you can't really tell I'll go and show you the little tea leaves that I put in here so anyways in here are these little um, like beads they kind of look like beads uh, and they're tea leaves once you add the boiling water to them you know they open up they flower out and then that's your tea so it's like the whole tea leaf that's in there and you just pour some water in there and then you cover it with the little lid and um and you go from there and i just have some this is pure honey we got this i think maybe in little india which is on devon in chicago it's 100 percent natural and halal um i don't know how honey is halal but uh i'll have to check look into that i asked my boyfriend but he didn't he didn't know either and then I just added some lime. The tea is actually a green tea. Um, so. Sorry, excuse me. It doesn't taste any good or bad with lime and honey. I think I prefer a regular like Lipton tea or black tea with the honey and lime. But, you know, whatever. Um, so the tea I've. I've uh, been using um, is this one. It's from the brand Pure Leaf. Um, I like their regular sweet tea also that's like already made. Oh lordy. Um, this one says gunpowder green tea, loose long leaf tea. So it's 5.8 ounces in here. And um, it says it's Rainforest Alliance certified product of Morocco so it says for a cup fill infuser and infuser would be something that's going to hold the tea leaves so that they don't go all over in your cup which it's actually okay um I haven't had an issue with drinking the leaves you know down with my tea but anyways um you fill the infuser with three-fourths teaspoon of loose tea Place in cup and add eight full ounces of boiling water. Steep for three minutes. So, again, I don't know if you can tell, like, they're kind of little beads in there. And, um, and they just open up with the boiling water. So, yeah, so all I did was, in my little teapot, I added these first into that little wire basket. Um, I added about a teaspoon and a half. So the tea was rather weak, but which which I like when I'm not feeling so well. I want kind of like a weak tea. Um, so yeah, I added about a teaspoon and a half. And then um, I added the boiling water. And I don't even think um, I added enough boiling water to cover the whole wire basket, but you can. Um, so I really, I was just eyeballing it. But if you want to measure it out and everything, go go right ahead for it. And then I just covered up the teapot for a few minutes. And that was my tea. Um, 
So that that may be the long way of making tea. I have little um, like this ginger root tea blend. I don't know if you can see it. This one's nice for um, like a stomach ache or if I'm making Asian food and I'm, I don't have any ginger with me, I can use this for some flavoring. Um, what else do I have in here? Don't ask me why I have that in there. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> um, I have, oh, I have another green tea. This one's from the Yogi brand, which I like a lot. Um, this one has all kinds of stuff in it. But anyways, you could definitely just do one cup at a time with those. And then when I do one cup at a time, after I add the boiling water to it, um, I'll cover it with like a plate or something so that it can steam kind of. And, and then, you know, you kind of like dunk your little tea bag and wring it out and such. So, mm. That's what I'm up to right now, I guess. I need to do dishes. Um, yeah, definitely need to do dishes. And I'll probably just sit here and have some more tea. <sighs> so see, I'm like, I feel exhausted already. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, um, just thought I'd give you all a little update, I guess. Um, maybe I'll title this little this little mini video like my my tea routine and if you have any questions or comments or you know what is it that how do you like to prepare your tea uh let me know you know down below we have a little combo i love tea so okay i'm gonna get off now because i feel my my voice starting to go <laughs> bye you guys take care Hey you guys, I just thought I'd jump on real quick. Maybe I'll add this to my, um, whatever I'm going to call that video where I show you what I do with the tea, how I prepare my tea most of the time. Um, I'm just going to make myself some real quick caldo, like a soup, um, just with whatever I have around here because I don't. Um, I don't want to get out and go to the store, even though it's a really nice day out and I didn't even realize it because I was, um, laying in bed all day. <laughs> but anyways, um, what I did here was I heated up some oil just, just a bit and then, uh, like toasted the noodles and then I added, um, some chopped garlic and I added some tomato and then I'm gonna add this paste here that I got from Dollar Tree some time back um, I don't think I'm gonna add I think I'm only gonna add one tablespoon of the tomato paste I'm gonna zhuzh that around and maybe some onion powder because I don't have any fresh onion and then um, I have some leftover butter chicken <laughs> from last night because I usually do like a tomato and chicken flavor with the soup and if I have cheese like cheddar cheese I add that too um, once it's like cooked and everything I don't know what the recipe is called but I know it's popular with some like Mexican households um, but anyways that's what I'm gonna do here so I'll plug you guys in back in a bit so here's the deal, you guys. Usually, it's um, just a tomato, onion, garlic, chicken broth, or like the chicken bouillon cubes that you add um, with the noodles, and that's it. Like some gar, what did I say? Some garlic, some onion seasoning, but I didn't have any of the chicken. And which I need to stock up on that because the cold, you know, the cold months are here. So, um, you try to get this to like a low boil so the noodles can cook through. But anyways, um, but last night, boyfriend came home with some butter chicken from Garib Nawaz. And, um, you know, because I hadn't, 
I had definitely not cooked anything in that. So what I did <laughs> was um, added some of that that sauce from the butter chicken and a few of the pieces of chicken in here. So I'm hoping it turns out okay. It definitely smells like what I'm used to with the with the soup. Um, maybe a little bit more flavor because of the butter chicken, but for the most part, it smells the same. So I'm going to taste it. I don't know if I'll have to add a little onion to it. Um, but yeah, I'll let you guys know if it turns out okay. <laughs> hey, you guys. Um, I thought I'd do another quick clip here of some tea time. <laughs> I'm still struggling, you guys, um, and I was going to go and teach today, um, but yeah, I'm still struggling, um, but anyways, I'm going to do the Earl Grey, and this is a loose leaf tea, this is another teapot that we have, it's part of a bigger one, uh, maybe I'll do a video on that, so I put one teaspoon kind of a little heavy on the teaspoon of the loose leaf earl gray in here um let me see if i can take it out it's kind of like an infuser i guess so if you can tell um little like little holes that are in there that way when you pour the boiling water in um it just works all around there and then you cover it up so it can steam or steep whatever so my water is boiling over here and um, I thought I would try and measure out I'm think I usually do about half a teaspoon um half a teaspoon of loose leaf tea to a cup and so I figure I can measure the two cups here if I wanted to so I'm gonna see how that turns out because this looks kind of small so I don't know. If it comes out strong though, I'll be happy with that because I'm I'm kind of feeling like I'm feeling well enough to ha to have a good nice strong tea, and then I'll add some creamer to it too. So I'll be back. Hey you guys. So it was looking kind of light, so I ended up adding another um, half teaspoon of this Earl Grey, the loose leaf tea, um, and I did put in two cups of boiling water so it was a teaspoon and a half of loose leaf tea to your excuse me two cups of boiling water and this thing looks so small but apparently it holds more water than i thought it would <laughs> so anyways yeah i'm just gonna leave it to you know do its thing here uh for i don't know five minutes or so at least that I'll come and check up on it. It's pretty hot. Um, this little measuring spoon. I'm pretty sure I got it from the Dollar Tree. Um, so I just thought I would show you. This one we got it over in Little India. But here's the... I couldn't tell you like where to purchase it and such. Um, I think you can find it online because I looked for it one time. But this is probably the brand KJF. And then it gives you instructions there, like with direct heating. And so, yeah, this, like I said, this is part of a bigger teapot. But if any of y'all are interested in how to do, because this, this one is like, there's like a bigger teapot. And then there's this one that kind of sits on top of it or something like that. I forget. I'd have to um, check it out again. But if you're interested, in knowing about that process how to prepare tea that way let me know and i'll do a video on it um either way i'll eventually i'm sure i'll get around to doing it so hey you guys so this is about the last few steps here i have a tiny cup that i'm gonna have my tea in i have a little bit of sugar in there and here's my tea that's um I don't know if you can tell the lighting's a little off in here but um it's colored quite a bit more so i think the longer you let it steep or you know in steam because see i can kind of like 
dunk it a little bit every now and then if the if the lid is secure in there um, and then that way it'll get stronger um, so yeah the longer you let it work I think the stronger the tea will be um, so there's that and I will just leave this in there I honestly don't know if you're supposed to take the leaves out um, once you're done but anywho that's where I'm at so I'm gonna pour some here see if I can do it while filming make a little cup here not all the way to the top just there so yeah I was on the fence about whether to add um, sugar or not but I ended up adding a little a uh, little bit that should be good you could uh, taste it if you wanted to and then I'm gonna add some milk and sometimes what I do is once I'm getting to like the bottom of the milk, um, I'll just shake it and shake it and shake it. And it might <laughs> give me a little bit of like a froth with my tea, like steamed milk kind of. But I didn't heat the milk or anything this time. Um, you totally can. I just did not do that this time. So I'm going to add some milk up on here. Oh, well, it didn't froth up very much, but... There's a little bit of, so I like milk with my tea. You may or may not, or you can try it. I definitely try it. Maybe if you're trying to get off of coffee, you know, this is like, uh, I can't say it's an alternative because I really, <laughs> uh, I really don't think there's anything al alternative to coffee except for chocolate. They remind me of each other quite a bit. But anyways, um, you could um you could always try a nice strong dark tea and see how that goes so i'm just up here tasting the tea it's pretty good um i'm just up here uh working on some videos editing and such and somebody over here is jumping on things that she should not be but you know I'm sure she does all kinds of stuff when we're not here. Ugh. So yeah, my work table is a little bit of a mess. It could be worse considering the the um, week that I've had. But anywho, all right, you guys, I'm going to enjoy the tea. It's pretty good. I'm going to have it with this little treat here. Let me show it to you guys see if I can get it in the camera they're called oblea oblea um, wafers with goat's milk candy obleas con cajeta de leche de cabra so it's based it's caramel but it has a little thin wafer on it it's so good so that's what I'm gonna have with my tea so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this little this little bit my little snack um and i'll talk to you guys later bye hey you guys so i thought i would um kind of give you all a little update on my planner um i'm gonna work on it a little bit right now so i just added this little um doodle right here with jack and sally simply meant to be with a little heart so i'll probably develop that a little bit more and um the rest of it i think you all have seen and then so some of the stickers i've been using lately and that i use pretty regularly for my planner are these little be uh what are they they're little raised um stickers i hauled these some time ago come with 117 i think there's also another um sticker item that has like these uh these colors this style but a bigger bead or whatever you want to call it um so yeah probably think of getting that one i like using these to like color code maybe rehearsals or or um 
Yeah, things like that. Like, I would even do something like maybe the green would signify like a bill is due. Um, maybe the the pink would be for like the dance group in Indiana if I'm going to be doing something with them, which next Monday I'm going to try and go and see them uh, just to help them prepare for the Thanksgiving parade that's coming up in November here in Chicago. And then maybe... Maybe the blue would be for my company here in Chicago, like events with them. Anyway, stuff like that, you know. Um, most of these are Dollar Tree. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Struggling. Um, so, yeah, I like these, too. They're, kind of, they're like a gold foil. So I, I use these every now and then. Um, these are actually from Dollar General. But they were a dollar, and so these are so cool. I mean, I, I can spend so much time going through each of these sheets. There's just so much to look at, and they have Halloween and um, Christmas doodles in there, like all kinds of stuff. So I might throw a few of those in there. And then I like these. They're kind of like little tags. Also from Dollar Tree. Um, they have the different days of the week on there, and they're only sticky on one little section, so they can flip up. So you can write on this sticker, and then you can flip it up and still write, you know, on your actual planner or whatever. And then these little bubbles, um, also from Dollar Tree, I think. Are these separate? Yeah, these two are separate from Dollar Tree, though. They're just like the little bubbles. Um, is it the drop brand? I'm pretty sure it is. I like these emojis. So like for what would what, I say like Sunday when I really started coming down with this cold or allergies, whatever it is. Um, I'll probably I'll put one of these stickers on there or like when me and boyfriend got into our spat. <laughs> uh, I, I might put something like that on there. Um, no, I won't, you know, but. Um, I like to I like to use things like this and things like this. This is one of the most recent sticker purchases from Dollar Tree. Um, things like this to to kind of chronicle, you know, my days. Kind of so my planner is a little bit like a journal, but not really, especially not in this monthly planner. I don't have enough space to do journaling and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm just going to use these stickers, um, even though I kind of don't want to mess with this layout here. Um, I mean, it's okay. Every now and then I'll add a little piece. And then I also have stickers um, in that Nightmare Before Christmas journal that I might, I might add a few from there too. So yeah, that's what I have. Otherwise, I'm just watching YouTube. I mean, what's new? Uh, Shy Town Girl, her Dollar Tree hauls. Yeah. All right, you guys. Peace out.